boric acid. And you'll note already that the boric acid shows up much better in this scenario, this situation, than it does in your lab. This is one of the only ones um, that's like that where I think it shows up significantly better here than it does in your lab. Um, I first discovered this one at a demonstration show I attended two summers ago. Five, please. And while I was at that show, the guy did a lot of chemistry demonstrations. There was only one I had never seen before as a whole, but he did flame tests, and I'm sitting there up in the crowd getting all the answers right. Uh, and he gets up there and he does another one, and it's this vibrant green, and that bright green, the very light green color that you're seeing here, is significantly different than the green of the last one, the copper. Uh, uh, the copper sulfate uh, flame. And so I knew it was something different. Immediately after the show, I ran up to the guy and was asking him what that was. And he said, I have no clue. He said, someone else sets it up for me, and I just come in and do what they tell me to do. And so this guy, who totally untrained as a chemist, was doing the demonstrations, but I had no clue what it was. Luckily, he knew where the chemicals were stored, and he was able to show me where they were. And I looked through the list of chemicals and said, this is the only one that's a possibility is boron. And uh, I came back, tried it on my own, and we had that very pretty green flame. That one there is probably my favorite one. 